Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Evoland. I am joined once again by Cyberlink420. Happy to be here. I last we left off, we were exploring this cave and immediately battle, thank you. I am impressed. Alright. Spam that heal. Stop attacking, you bitch. That's, that's, what, that's what you get. You attack, you get the bitch. I told you, you attack, you get the bitch. Look, you've been over this. It's well established at this point. Clink has reached level 3. His defense has increased. Karis has reached level 3. Her magic has increased. Which means that it should heal a little bit more every time. That's good, then. Nice. Well, I didn't have much to heal anyway. All the same. There we go. Right. So, so far, progress. Life fountain. Some fresh water might heal your wounds. Might. By might, they mean yeah. Ah, saving the game. That is also useful. Two steps. Yeah. I mean, that's also true to the RPGs of back in the day. Oh, yeah. Two they steps. Are slavish in their devotion. One hit point. Good job, Karis. She's doing her best. No doubt. I wonder if I'm missing something up here. No, down, is the, down is the way to that uh, other uh, chest that we saw earlier. Yeah. Smack at the child! I mean, she looks like a child. I believe she is a child. In RPGs, they're always children, even if they look like adults. Ah. So, is there any way to use items in the inventory in here, or can I only use them in battle? Only in battle, I believe. Okay. That is also reminiscent of... I think some of the early, or earlier JRPGs. Yeah. Hey! There you go. Clink has le reached... Leached? Level 4! His life has increased. And her life has increased. They feel alive! Something's gonna happen. <laughs> All right. That's good. But one of the main things with games like these is definitely to explore. Jesus. So if this gameplay is a little bit repetitive to you, imagine what it was like before, you know, way back in the day. This is true. Like, I... Games that let you, you know, see the enemies coming and avoid them are just godsends compared to what we used to have back in the day. Like, I, I could not stand random encounters. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't have too much of an issue with it because, again, like... I guess I have less patient now, less patience now than I used to. Something happened somewhere. Okay, but where? Probably where I we had those spikes in the way. Or those Those blocks. pesky stalagmites. Yeah. You're definitely plowing through these guys a lot faster than you were before. Huh. You woke up the guardian of the crystal! Oh no! That feels like a reference to Final Fantasy VI. Oh, Kefka's ghost! That this also feels like a reference to Final Fantasy VI! This one looks powerful! 
He was the crystal's guardian for many centuries. But it looks like he has been corrupted by some evil power. Most likely the same evil that has attacked my hometown. Let's get the crystal. We need its power to fight. Sounds like a good plan. Can't think of a reason not to. Boss anime. He looks much more dangerous now. Yeah, a little bit. That's true. Oh, shit. That Looks was a like huge... A oh, shit. Okay, definitely spamming heal every turn. Yeah. Probably not a bad idea. Uh-oh. Phantom counter. Well. Yeah, when he's in ghost form, you cannot hit him. Right. And Karis has her work cut out for her. Jeez. Well, thankfully, MP is not something that he has to worry about. This so, is very true. Or she, anyway. So does this function as an active battle? So I just wait it out? Um, I'm trying to remember. I think you can wait it out. Yep. Yep. So that's good. But yeah. I don't mind necessarily doing this over and over again. Well, that time you didn't have to. No, what I mean uh, is just like the, the systematic uh, way of dealing it. Yeah. 400 Gleese and 20 XP. Clink has reached level 5. His attack I would think is... so. <laughs> Karis has, increased, uh, has reached level 5. Her defense has increased. The crystal power has been activated. What's happening? And suddenly she's the same size as me. Okay. You got 3D mode. You got a whole third dimension. The power of the crystal is incredible. Now I feel like I can fight the evil which threatens my village. But we'll have to cross the Moria, the Noria mines in order to reach it. Look, I know what they were referencing, clearly. Don't tell anybody. Thank you for helping me. You're my hero. Okay, so... Okay, but something feels wrong here. Okay. Huh. Wow, the music is evolving too! Huh, <laughs> nice detail. Nice little touches. Life hearts! You will no longer be no killed longer in be one killed shot! killed one shot, finally! Which is great on time. It's because I suck at this style. Yeah, you'll be fine. You say that. So I'm not getting any experience for these. No, these Zelda-esque uh, sequences, you do not get experience. Hey. Unfortunately, your potions are only for the Final Fantasy kind of areas. Hmm. hmm. So you'll have to find another way around. Fortunately, you my experience. things or lean against things it looks like but only certain things okay as is tradition so i'm seeing one in there I'm seeing several over there i believe you'll have to find another way there if you want those but 
I'm not sure if you can get them yet. You might be able to. It's been a while since I've played through this part. Yeah, I've uh, literally my first experience with all of this, so. As was intended. Yes. There you go. Ah, a star. Good. One more for the treasure pile. Zumba. Zumba. Trust me, you'll you'll recognize Zumba when you see one in person. <laughs> Let's just fucking stab the fuck out of that thing. That is a very satisfying sound effect, that screech that they let out. I feel like it's very important that enemies have real good, like, death sound effects. Just adds that extra punch to it. Mm. No, no. I need to... I need to stop doing that. Pixelated textures! Oh, thank god, I was getting very, very uh, tired of just seeing the untextured color. Dimensional Stone Pass, was it always that small? You're back to early games. Yeah, oh. so all those rocks you couldn't pass while you were in 2D, you can just step over in 3D now, because perspective! That save point. Where? Just to the uh, right of you. Oh, I didn't see it. I do Where? want to save. <sighs> Be nice if I could heal. A star. Good. All it's right. A star. The side effect of these games is learning to just fucking swipe at everything. Pretty much. I mean, that is kind of the cloth it was cut from, so... Yeah. And now you can slip past that rock for the first time. Yeah. Let's see, what else we can find? Life bonus. Monsters will now drop small hearts to replenish your uh, life. That's good. That's that's literally what I was just talking about. That's been happening a lot in this entire playthrough. Mentioned something? Come, oh, in my chest. That's good game design, then. Why are we getting the link opening sequence? Camera zoom! No, I don't- cool. I do not want that. That I do not want. That is completely not necessary. Generally speaking, though, it'll only happen when it's like, you get a star or a card. So you won't see it too much if you're just like unlocking general progression related stuff. You say that, but well, I don't want even that. I don't find it to be necessary. That's fair. But, you know, it's for flavor. I suppose. I mean, I do love this, and again, it feels like something of a tour of all of the games that I grew up with. HD textures, finer grain painting, it's so nice. It huh. is. Okay. Like, I, I love oh. me some just one aesthetic, but... The Noria mines are just south of here. If we can get through them, we will reach my hometown. I hope everybody is doing okay there. Please hurry, my hero! Yeah, sneaking suspicion, things are not going to be okay there, because, like every JRPG, you have to have some sort of hometown tragedy waiting for you by the time you get there. I mean, it is a proud tradition. Yes. One way or the other, how her hometown is doing. No, fuck you. No! Stop that! You didn't even have the decency to drop health. 
you son of a bitch. Alright. I was just thinking of, like, Final Fantasy 2 slash 4. Interesting music. Three-dimensional world. Ooh. I have achieved the 3D achievement. Beautiful thing. Okay, they look like her. They, they I can see it. Welcome to your first Zelda-style dungeon. You can now explore the Noria Mines. It seems like they're telling me this way is dangerous. Did the giant Bowser face on it not, you know, provide oh a good God, indicator? Oh my God, it's Bowser. Why did they do that? That's a, that one's a little on the nose. Can't reach that yet. Oh. This door seems locked. We need to find a way to open it. I'm counting on you. Okay, thank you. Did you really need to do a cutscene for that? Probably Breakable not. Pots. Ha ha. Now the Zelda influence gets a little bit. Uh, I mean, what Zelda influence? This is completely original. That's totally not Bowser. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's why I was whacking on them in the first place, is because, again, your experience you know, in earlier games trains you to. Immediate instinct. Pressure plates. I guess it's not exactly Fort Knox. Touche. See now, again, in true puzzle fashion with a partner, I should have had to have her you stand on way. the other one. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, you go one way, she goes the other. But it simplifies things to not have to do that. Yeah. Red wizard. Oh God, really? I his robe standing, I guess. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Okay, great. Thanks for that. That looks like a break in the wall. If only you had something you could use to destroy it. Hmm. I'm sure that won't pop up at all later. Maybe you shouldn't have gotten trapped in here. Let me guess, defeating the enemies in an area helps to unlock a door. Hi, Zelda. Lucky guess. Oh, look at that. Let me guess. Guess what it's used for. I have no idea. No concept whatsoever. Back scratcher. I mean, you know, quite frankly, that would also be useful. <laughs> ah, it stands under tail. This really fucking sucks. I hate this shit. Okay. I don't like this. I'm not good at this. I've literally said this is not- I prefer the, the, the turn-based. Jesus Christ. There you go. Like I said, I told you I prefer the the, the turn-based stuff. Thankfully, we will be getting back to more turn-based stuff after this dungeon is done, so... I can see something under the water here that's fantastic. There must be another mechanism nearby. Thank you. I am glad that they are explicitly telling you... What is that? Need to... Fucking... Look out. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Something happened somewhere again. Again. Yeah. Would you look at that? There are now paths. The things that were been... But just the one, huh? Just the one. There will be other switches. Okay. Maze. Always go left, or was it right? Well... You gotta go in the direction that would actually be progress. This is true. 
Although progress is not always super obvious. Yeah. But that's why. Okay, thank goodness. I was like, I need yeah. that health. Okay, so I don't have a key for this, do I? I do not. Yet. So. Other route. Yeah. Yes. Mother fuck. Stop it. Stop. If you're gonna do that, drop hearts. Oh, got a key. I can't right. remember what is further down that way. I got a star. Let's see, how many does that make? Seven out of thirty, so a little under the third of the way through. Generally speaking, whenever you have a set of collectibles, however many you have out of the number total is usually a pretty good idea of the progression through the game that you've already made. This is very true. They generally try to space things out so that it's not like you're not too like front loaded or anything. Yeah. No, mother fucker, don't do this to me. Mm. Mother, mm. this is just, just I'm gonna... try try to get past them. Oh boy. Um, no. I'm gonna die. Yep. So, that was frustrating. That's great. Yeah, that's gonna... Actually, I don't know if uh, it does set us back too much. I think that all of the stuff you do... Oh, hey, yeah. So your progression so far is still there. You just gotta work your way back to where you were. Still frustrating. Oh, absolutely. Like, that's that's not... That's the thing, though. No. Die. Where are you? There you are. So this was that room. Yep. Not helped by the slow movement overall. Ooh. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Well, I don't think he's blocking the door this time, so if you can slip past him, you should be able to just keep moving on. Okay. Like, again, the enemies in this uh, mode do not drop experience, so All right. there's no reason for you to fight them. Mm. Uh, remember that's a, the there, right there. Yeah, I know where it is. Unfortunately, um, yeah, that's going to have to be where we pause it for today. Uh, we will continue this on the next installment of Let's Play Evo Land, where hopefully I don't fucking die again. That would be great. Yay, not death. Yeah, but uh, yeah, hope to see you guys then. Take care.